For the last several months, we've been observing inflation at the summit. We have been able to place two uh, monitoring stations on one of the down drop blocks within Halemo Greater, and uh, those have been rising very slowly. We've also been able to measure and then remeasure gravity variations on these this area and found that gravity is also increasing, which means that there's additional mass below the gravity station, which is within that general or beneath the caldera crater, Hollymont Mountain Crater, which means there's additional mass being added beneath Hollymont Mountain Crater. So they both indicate that magma is coming back into the summit area, although it's at a rate that's much slower than it was while Puo was active, for example. So that is not something to worry about, but we obviously keep track of it. There continues to be inflation in an area just downrift of Puo in the Middle East Rift Zone. And again, it's, it's continuing, and we're watching it closely, but we don't expect any more hazardous activity if these things continue at these rates. So we we're, we're tracking it. If something looks like it might develop into more serious unrest, we'll certainly raise the alert level and, and uh, inform civil defense of the public. So the lower East Rift Zone, nothing's happening down there? Nothing's happening in the lower East Rift Zone that we can, we can measure or sense. So uh, earthquakes seem to be at a a normal level, except we are getting still getting a large number of aftershocks from that magnitude 6.9 on May 4th of last year. Amazing. Aftershocks go on for a long time. Around the 3rd of July, the scientists at Hawaiian Volcano Observatory raised the alert level of Mauna Loa from the lowest level to advisory, just because you were seeing an increase in earthquakes, not big earthquakes, but just the number had increased. And I'd just like to know what the status of Mauna Loa is today. Mauna Loa is still pretty much as active as it has been in the last several months. There is still intermittent activity up near the summit and on its upper west flank. There's still inflation at the summit at previous levels. So again, we are tracking it, but it doesn't look like an eruption is imminent yet. So the scientists are not planning on raising the alert level for Mount Aloha again at this time? Uh, no, the rate of earthquakes and the rate of inflation of the summit continues at about the same rate. We keep measuring it, but no, there have been no increases yet.